So what is DevOps is a very common question that is usually asked during DevOps interviews at the beginning of the interview. This is to test your understanding of DevOps. So if you have done some research on internet or on other YouTube channels on what is DevOps, you would get a standard answer, a standard pattern of answering the DevOps question around the culture. So focusing on the culture part of DevOps. So in this video, I'm going to help you to answer that question as a pro, like, you know, you are going to answer as a DevOps pro, not like just any other DevOps engineer. So I'm going to add some additional information to a standard uh, answer that has the DevOps culture and DevOps transformation, all that stuff. But I'm going to give you some points that you can include as part of your answer when you're answering this question. So that will set a perfect tempo for additional questions that you might get during the course of the interview. So typically the standard answer for what is DevOps goes like this. So DevOps is all about a cultural transformation or a philosophical transformation where you're going to bring in the dev, the operations team and the security team together, avoiding the silos, uh, avoiding the wall of confusion so that the team will have a better collaboration in the company uh, to deliver the software uh, to the customer. So this is a standard answer and you will also see people throwing in some of the CICD stuff and automation and other tools into the answer uh, as, as part of your standard answer. So now with the standard answer, what I would suggest you is throw in another keyword called the KPI, which is called a key performance indicator. So this would make sure that you're not only answering what is DevOps, but also you are trying to throw in the most important part of DevOps, which is measuring DevOps to the interviewer. And then you might get some very good follow-up questions on how you going to measure those metrics or you might get follow-up questions on the CICD and then how you're going to automate the process, etc. So basically what we are trying to do here is whenever the interviewer would ask you what is DevOps, you would focus on the cultural part, you would focus on the collaboration and automation and all those things. But also you're going to say that we are doing all this stuff to achieve the main KPIs, the three KPIs. I'm going to talk about those KPIs in this video, but there are other KPIs as well. You can do some more research on the other indicators or other measurements of DevOps. But these three are the most important thing that I would personally like you to focus on your answer when you're answering this question. So I'm going to give you the reason why this is important, right? So if for any company, when they are going through the digital transformation of DevOps, they spend huge amount of money, effort and resources into that. Though it's a cultural thing, it's not easy for big corporations to go through the digital transformation and it's going to take some amount of time. Now, after putting a lot of effort, they would like to measure how they have done in the DevOps, in the DevOps transformation, right? So the measurement is very important else you would feel like you have put in a lot of effort, but you haven't got the results after few years or few months or whatever. So these KPIs are also called as the DevOps measurements. Like for example, if an interviewer would ask you, what are the measurements? You can also answer these KPIs along with that. So because these are also called as DevOps measurements that a company would measure uh, their success of the DevOps journey. Now let's try to understand what are the three main KPIs that you would like to include as part of your answer. So the first KPI is velocity. It's nothing but how often you are releasing your changes to the customer. So before you're embarking into this new DevOps journey, let's say you're releasing one change in every six months or one change in three months or two months. So you are giving a new feature to the customer or new release to the customer after six months or one year or whatever. Now after DevOps, so now you are making sure that you are delivering more frequently to the customer in more iterations with fewer amount of changes through agile or whatever. So this is velocity and this is measured in the number. Obviously it's like how many number of times you have delivered. And this is the most important metric. Now when you deliver, too many times or when you're delivering to the customer, the other important KPI that you want to measure is the quality. Now, let's say that uh, before DevOps, you have used to have like five defects or six production issues, you know, or, or some something like that you used to have more issues that used to happen. Now, after DevOps, you want to measure like what is the success rate of your quality, meaning how many less defects that you're see that you are seeing in production. Now, let's say if the defects are same, then there is something wrong with your with your whole automation or with your whole transformation that you would like to focus on. So that's why quality is very important. And even for big companies like Google or Amazon or whatever, uh, they would like to see less defects in production or less 
severe severe divan issues meaning uh, a crash in the service or something that way they are making sure that the confidence of the customers in the service is more or, or in the product is more the quality is the most important thing now no matter how much quality you maintain there would be always some kind of issue for example recently you know google had an issue an outage in december i think it was down for about 15 minutes i guess whole youtube and google and lot of services and they had some issue with the authentication service so we always take google as an example or amazon as an example but you know there would be issues in the production and services will go down now speaking of issues or outages so how fast you can recover from the outage is called mttr which is also called as mean time to recover meaning the time you're taking from the outage and bringing back the service to the customers now for instance taking the google outage again as an example they had outage let's say for 15 minutes so we all the services were down for 15 minutes last time so that 15 minutes is their empty tier which means like they have recovered their service or they took 15 minutes to recover the service so it is measured in time so the lower the lower the empty tier is much better so how do you achieve empty tier it's basically you will make sure you have a proper ci cd pipelines or continuous delivery pipelines to make to make fixes very fast and make those changes to the production now obviously identifying the issue is another factor but again you want to make sure your system is designed in a way that you can identify you have alerts and then you can fix those issues in the production much faster uh, to reduce the time that it took to recover the system you will always have sls and slos and slis if you have any questions on that please go back to my sri video you will understand what are those indicators are about uh, when it comes to the outages and stuff now this is what i wanted to cover and i hope this will give you a perfect answer whenever you're going into a devops interview and if anybody would ask you about what is devops i hope you're going to make sure that you're going to include the measurement or the kpis as part of your answer so the interviewer would know that you are not only you not only know about devops but also you know the importance of how to measure devops and if you are new to this channel my name is gk and i like to present lot of devops and cloud and other important technology content that would upskill your career so if you like this sort of content do click on the subscribe button and share this video thank you again take care bye